Time has passed quickly, with the shape of Europe taking a new form not seen for centuries. There was a swift victory over Sicily, but that wouldn't end the warlike focus of Adelhard. To restore the old Frankish Empire, East Francia had to be taken in one fell swoop. Their lands capitulated quickly, unlike West Francia, which took much longer. King Charles the Bald would eventually die of old age, leaving his realm split between two successors. After those conquests, the Pope was found to be a non-believer, and through that secret, Adelhard was able to pressure the conduit of God to coronate him as the Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. Now it's time for our council. Our head counselor has earned his break. Today, I shall host our council. Sir Heinrich, welcome to my court. To change the laws that have bound us since the times of Clovis and Charlemagne would take many years. It is not a simple matter, one that even an emperor can hope to push quite yet. Though, in time, we may see those changes shift, and certainly Bavaria shall be reclaimed. May God be with you, Knight of Saxony. You two are welcome to my court, and I understand your hatred of the pagan. I too wish to see them buried. As Kaiser, we shall unify these lands and in time, purge the filth therein. Welcome now, Gottschalk, noted scholar of our ways. Any ponderance on changing our customs is nothing but a vile rumor. The nobles balk at tradition, but that is what binds us, that is what has created our Holy Roman Empire. I am with you and your wisdom. We shall spread, we shall grow, and God will watch over us. Now we begin today's chapter. We've done it, everyone. We have become the Holy Roman Emperor. Now, our journey is not yet done. We have much more to do. As you can tell, the lands are fractured. Charlemagne would not be proud of that. What we've done is only one step, and we have many more to take. Now, let's have a look. We've got people inside of our territories and lands who have claims on other kingdoms. Keep in mind, the Carlings are all over right now. I've got options here. And I've been moving around territories whenever possible. When it comes to succession, we're going to have a very hard time. I want you to know that right now. If we began at a later start date, it would be easier to pick up the right innovation to pass on my kingdom, my empire, to my son or whoever. But because we're here right now, we can't do that. It's going to be a bit more challenging. Kingdoms are going to be given away to my other children, which is why having many children can be an issue. But we shall see what we can do over time. We also have many unique innovations that we can look at as we go along. Currently, I'm still working on Frankish feudalism. We do have our art, which is wonderful. And I've got some decent men over here. It'll take time for things to stabilize, but I do believe that it shall happen. Now, do we go after Bavaria first or over here after King Lothair? My dear cousin, you've been in power too long. It's been a bit. You've got a rebellion to fight, and I've got a need to fight you. So why don't we fight a war over here? I've got money. I've got power. And in time, I could even take a kingdom title away from the papacy. That could be interesting. Maybe not for him. Maybe not for him. But certainly for us over here. Look at that. He's got lands I want. Oh, my dear non-believing pope. You made a bad choice. If you recall... We found out he was a non-believer. What a fool. I believe. I believe in the power of God to give me all the power. Now, about that war, let's begin. Well, Jean, your father didn't give you any titles, really. Well, don't worry. You can become a king. Imagine that. Imagine your father gave you nothing and you feel like that you're owed something. And then, a very handsome man, an older man, comes up to you and says, How would you like to be king? Would you say no? All right. We've got to go now. There goes my prestige. It wasn't cheap. I've got to get more prestige, and we're going to rally everyone over here because we need to. We shall crush them all. Oh, Bulgaria, you want to join in? Look at that. He's a drunkard. He cheats on his wife, and he's reclusive, too. And he's not feeling well. What a surprise. What a fool. A stone of glass. As I struggle to make all the tiny letters on the scroll before me, I feel a headache building once again. Now, I could get Roberto to help me out, or I could sell everything. I'm going to do that because I need more money. And I would like to get rid of a bit of stress, too. Now, what's over here? Unhealthy relations. My wife here is holding me back. Oh, dear God, look at that body. I could study the body. I'm going to do that. There. Oh, no, Arnold. Okay, Arnold, I hope you're going to make it, buddy. I'm going to pin him over here. I just wanted to learn more. Your culture, your people, I hate them. I hate them a lot, and I'll tell you why. They've been a blight on me for many years. But sure, they're decent people. I don't really need the Pope anymore. I could make him even angrier. That's an option of mine. 
a secret uncovered, a non-believer, another non-believer. Well, very good job. And here's a new faction that is trying to take me down very well. All right, so I've got all of my men-at-arms. I could just move in and crush them all. I'm going to go over here and attack real quick. And I'm also going to rally up all of my other soldiers too, but they can wait. Now, when it comes to what I want to do, let's see here. Am I leading anywhere? I shouldn't be. Oh, no, I am. All right. Carlisle, my old friend, you shall do it. For me, I'm going to have a feast here because I need to reduce my stress. I'm getting old. You've got to keep that in mind. I could begin to lose family members left and right like flies dropping. Wait. You're trying to blackmail me, Mayor? Oh, sure. You may do that. Let's have a party, and Duke Brun shall become my friend. Now, let's come over here. Hold on. You want to blackmail me? I can't believe that. Let's come over here to my council. Now, Duke Brun, support my schemes here. Do that for me. My dear wife, you're not very good at intrigue. We've got my son, Eberhard. He's my chancellor. He's a king. We've got King Lambert, who's a great steward. He's doing that for me. And for my own boy, I don't really have a good position for him yet, my heir. Not yet. Arnold is my champion. Oh, he's already better. Look at that. He's doing fine. All right, so we're over here. A laudable effort. What's over here now? As the feast is underway and our guests are eating and drinking merrily, we've got a duchess over here approaching my wife and me. You know what? My wife helped me out. Everyone helped out. Sure. I love my wife. My wife is great. She's been great to me, and I've been great to her. All right, so we've got all of our soldiers over here. Let's go down. I'm going to bring together some soldiers, but not too many. We could split it in half, I suppose, and besiege multiple locations. I've got ideas on what I want to do, but let's move anyway. There we go. We've got only a few days to go. Done. We've got one. There is no more smallpox, thankfully. All right, so we've got that location. We can't quite get to their capital, not yet. Every guest is leaving. And now I'm one eager reveler. So I've got plus two to my diplomacy, plus one to intrigue, and I do like other people who like to party. Well, good. I'm here to have a good time now. I've had a very hard time for a long time. My brother is no longer in prison. Good. Oh, dear. He's been starved. My dear brother, you need to eat. Please do not die. The unraveler of secrets. I love my brother. He's my only brother who's done well. The rest have been monsters, really. I could call allies into war. What now? You're my grandson? Oh my god, your haircut. Oh no. What has your father done to you? I'm going to have a chat with him later about that haircut. That's a little bit much. But sure, we can ally for now, my dear boy. All right, so you two can combine. And here we are. I know they're out there bothering me. My mercenaries are gone. I'm calling in no one because I do need more prestige, and I'm trying to get more right now. Let's wait for a little bit as we try to besiege and see what may happen in time. They have an army close by. We'll have to watch out for them. I want to finish up besieging what I have over here. And hold on now. Ingemar, what are you doing over here? Oh, you wait until I'm done conquering. They're raiding my borders while I'm busy fighting a war. A much more important war. I do apologize to my people, but I've got to finish up over here if we want to end things quickly. And I do. Lucius, do I really need you? I suppose I do not. I've already used my hook, unfortunately. They've got many soldiers over here. Utrecht, huh? A cousin of mine has been taken prisoner. The Queen Mother of Navarra, really now? It's incredible how we're linked to that family. There's King Charles, her own father. My grandfather, King Louis, Louis. All right, let's hold on now. We've got a lot of enemies to worry about and I'm gonna fight them all. I just need to come down over here real quick and take care of maybe one more location. If they're not gonna try to take back lands, they're in trouble. And what's over here now? Oh, Captain. What do we have here? Sophia was fathered by my vassal, Duke Depeche. He's a fairly young man. He's got two children now. The new father, huh? Oh, come on, my friend. He's a witch, too? Now, he used to be Valachia. Now, he's converted his own culture. It's funny that he's a witch, though. He came from way over there, and he's like, you know what? Stereotypes. I'm going to live up to that. All right, now what else do we have over here? I need to probably work on treating myself. I wanted to work on getting people to like me more, but I'm pretty old now. We'll change up to a medicine focus to try to stay alive if I can. I'm feeling fine. I'm not feeling poor anymore. I'm currently 59, but I could die at 60. That usually happens. I pull a blood over here. All right, so we have learned the mayor visits local healing pools every week for a secluded bath. Naked, defenseless, and alone. Oh. All right. We've got to wait. 
My sister died, unfortunately, and there's a new faction. Well, goodbye, my dear sister. You've got one child who's got some power, my nephew, Hartwig. He's way over here. He does serve our great empire. He's got a lot of power, too. Good for him. But your line should not end, my dear sister. All right. Ethelred, he died. He finally died. What a shame. So your son has power now over here. Not very much, though. Oh, yeah, look at that. Mercia is holding on. That old king is holding on. He's gripping on for dear life. So, wait. The queen of Great Moravia is going to take over your lands? Well, that can't be good for your people. Not at all. Oh, man. Sigurd is still very much alive. Jordavik is over here. 60 years old. Look at their power. Here's Halfdan, who's a very powerful man. A 28 prowess. Imagine if we had that. I wish I had that, but we do not. Go with God, my dear sister. I shall honor our family for as long as I can, and there shall be no white piece. Only a red one. After we're done fighting. The great duelist, my vassal, Duke Tepesh, has arrived at court with a bandaged arm and a hunger for vengeance. Wait, my son and heir, Carl, has been running rampage all over Savoy? Really? All right, hold on. I could get him a teacher. Yeah. He needs a teacher. Let him become a blade master. He's my boy. There. Now he's becoming a blade master. That's a much better choice for him. He's going to have more territories in the future. I'm getting him ready for whenever I pass on a fork in the road. I'm going right. Okay. Let's see. I see an idyllic landscape as far as the horizon stretches. The sky is bright, the sun is warm, the birds are singing. In this world, my dynasty and my realm prosper. So now I get more piety and prestige for three years. All it took was one dream. Exotic weapon. Again, I don't want people to find out about the plot, so we've got to hold on for now. We are nearly done. We got that capital of theirs. Let's go after another one. Sigurd is finally dead. It looks like right now, there's a rebellion that might actually succeed. If that does happen, he's going to take over lands that should not belong to him. Surprisingly, I'm going to have to go beat him up. I don't really want to, but I'm going to have to. He's trying to win a war that he shouldn't be winning. So let's go hunt down what we can. I don't really want to. I've got my owner goes over here, but let's go. I'll try to find them. Where are your armies anyway? I need to find out where you're at. Mr. Arnold. Let's have a look now. Where are you? You've got 4,000 men, but where? 4,000 men? You're kidding me. He's conquering up north. I see it now. Okay. I've got to go up there and go fight him. Let's go try to hunt him down. It's going to really, really prolong my war, but I've got to go beat him. Hopefully in time. All right. Let's go. We've got our other army moving up too. How dare you come over here? And if he does win, we can go after him later. Hopefully we get a nice easy claim because, again, he shouldn't even be a king. Oh, he won. Shoot. All right. Killing that mayor might be a little bit too hard. Instead, I'm going to find out about one fellow I do not really trust over here. He's a witch. And I can't burn him yet. 42 prowess. Oh, my God. I need him on my side. But he's a witch. He's not a great guy. He likes to cheat on his wife. He likes to practice witchcraft. And look at that. A peasant king? I think not, my friend. We've got to go back down and try to conquer and win quickly. Hopefully we can. We've got their capital already. We've got to watch out for what's over here. Burgred died. Well, there's a new queen. Interesting. A queen of Italy married to Lambert, and you've got some territories back over there. That's really interesting. She's got only a few territories. Mercy is under control of Judith. The queen of Great Moravia. What an interesting mixture of titles. Let's have a look at that. He's right over here. He doesn't have a lot of power. All right, let's go back down. I can't believe you lost to a bunch of peasants. Now I've got to work on that. He was not doing well. All right, shouldn't take over lands belonging to me right now. I'm going to take over what I can. An arrow to the balcony. No, there's no way for me to get him right now. I'm going to have to cancel that plot. I wanted to kill him, but let's leave it alone. Who could I be friend right now that would truly benefit me? We've got many non-believers. I can't believe that. All right. They're quickly taking over lands. Unfortunately, I do need to rush over here to go beat them before we lose that little bit of territory. I can't let them do that. A bastard. So, evidently, we have found out a secret. Held by my Duke Tepesh. Ludgard is, in fact, the bastard child of Duke Tepesh. Man, you have really been a troublemaker, haven't you, Tepesh? I invited you into my lands. <gasps> oh my god! Prince Lothair was killed! I didn't want to kill him. Look, I'm here to take territories, but I didn't want to kill him directly. 
It is a war, sure, but you've got to keep in mind, family members fought a lot during his time period. It was very common. But now he's dead. There goes your heir. My poor cousin. I was going to keep him, too. That's really a shame. My poor, poor cousin. I have been overwhelmed by stress because my other sister passed on, unfortunately. She was only 60. Evidently, we're not doing very well. I'm not going to break. I can't break right now. I refuse to break. Hopefully, we can hold on for a little bit longer. Let's come over here and take over what we can. The duel has returned. So now, my dear boy is a blade master. Look at him go. 19 prowess. He's even stronger. Good for him. We are voting for him right now. Yeah, we can't really change our succession laws currently. We're way too early in the game's date to do that. Otherwise, I would totally do that. Hopefully, many of you know that. What now? They shall pray to God. Continue to, to really convert whoever. What's over here now? Although there is no way to conclusively prove it, my spy master Duke Brun has brought forward evidence that... Right, I know that. I know that. Look at him go. No piety. He's a sinner, all right. He's definitely a sinner. We know him to only sin. He's very good at it, too. All right, let's go hunt down that little army. What's over here? Lovers now. Another count. I am finding out a lot about all of them. And I captured another son of my cousin, King Lothair. Aldebert. He's got one leg. Oh, poor Stumpy. And your family's having a bad time. Everything over here is collapsing. My cousin's been taken prisoner. She is 60. She has many children. None really have a lot of power, unfortunately, for them. All right, let's go back. We're watching the battles unfold right now. A good claim on a duchy. You're kind of a manic man who likes to beat himself. Maybe I'm not going to press that with you. All right. We've taken more territory, which is great. A lazy cook. Yeah, sure. I need to lose a little bit of stress. I really, really do. Things are getting pretty grim for me. Oh, Tepesh has a lover. Oh, no. He's chubby chasing. He likes the bulk. He likes the mass, man. Nothing wrong with that. It's just... He's just into everything now. <laughs> All right, we need to convert more people. That's what we need to do. I'm going to change up the culture even further. We're not done doing that. I've got to unify our lands. I've got to keep on working on Italy and other locations like that. Look at how much I've converted already. I don't want to give up. I feel like I've come so far now. Four years to go for that one. All right, let's begin to convert over here. Now, who's not of my religion? Ah, right. Four more years ago, we are beginning to convert everyone. Minor titles are fine. I need a new high almoner. My old one died. Ooh, none of you are very good. Well, here's a duke. Take a duke. He's my old knight, and I love him. He's a great guy. He's a good friend of mine. All right, so we beat another enemy. Another faction is gone. Well, that's really good. Wait, who was taken prisoner? Hold on. I got what? A countess? Okay, good. And over here, King Arnold of Frisia was captured by a Viking. Those lands might be lost to Vikings. Oh, they were lost. Okay. Yeah, look at what he's done. Fascinating. Zealand is over here. Held on by the Norse again. A veteran commander, huh? Well, good for him. All right, let's continue our war. I've got no choice but to keep on fighting. The war is not yet over. It's been a very long one. I'm doing my best right now to beat them, but it's going to take some time to finish up everything. All right, so we're about to conquer a new location. We don't want them to besiege anything close by. I'm watching carefully. And thank you, my dear friend. Bonafaccio. Uh, Bone Fatio is what I call him when he's not here. And he gave me money and my stress went down, which is what I need right now. Now, what else can I do? Oh, well, we shall see. All right, I conquered a new location. Let's go visit a few enemies here close by. I need to. Further education. Okay, she's very excited. Help with my studies. Why don't you help out my dear son? He's going to rule one day. More learning for him. Good. All right, so we're fighting some knights over here. Oh, we're not winning. Hold on. Hold on. We've got to go help out. I didn't know that would happen. Let's go over here real quick. Let's move in. Oh, they barely won, but that was getting pretty grim for a little bit. Let's go back down. One prisoner's gone. I know we've got more to fight. A new secret exposed. Would you... Go to prison. Go to prison, all of you. A dangerous faction, huh? Who is it? Is it a peasant rabble? Oh, it's always a peasant rabble. Okay. Very well. They want to say hello. Let them do so. I wrote the power and money. We're nearly done with the war, thankfully. I've got only a little bit more to go and do. Still the battle. Died to... Oh, I've gained more stress. Ooh. I got lost in my battle rage. I didn't even really want to be here, to be honest with you. All right, let's hold on. 
We are almost done fighting the war. Unbeliever. A mayor is an unbeliever. Dude, how many secrets are in that one province? What is happening in that evil land? I have no idea, but I hate it. All right, it took four years to win. A lot longer than I thought it would. But we did conquer more lands. Unfortunately, not all of them because he was a weak fool. All right, now what's happening over here? Who's fighting? We have some conflict. I know we do. All right. For now, I've got to disband my entire army. We can rest up for a little bit. Frizia, do I have a proper claim on what you have? I should. Do I really not have a proper claim? You're kidding me. You're a peasant king, so now I can't get all of my territories over there. That's really unfortunate. What can I take then? We've got some cool things that we can look at. Here we go. Erbreichsflin. From Saxony and the North Sea in northern Germany to Sicily and the Mediterranean in southern Italy and beyond the Alps, the hegemony of the Holy Roman Empire reached its peak. It is time to declare that all the lands under my control are legitimate territories of the empire. Oh, that would be great. So that is a great way for me to get proper succession, but I can't do it yet. I need more stewardship, which I do not have. I think it needs to be like base stewardship. So I don't think I'll be able to do that. And I do need to conquer more locations. Sardinia, Sicily, and I need to take what the Pope has. And I've got one title to take over here that I do not have. So I've got to slowly conquer up here now, unless I find someone who's got proper claims. Yeah, let's have a look. No claimants, really. All right. That's going to be an issue for me. That angers me greatly. Now, we do have some, again, some Norsemen way over here. I'm going to have to go after them real quick. Let's try to get what we can over here because I'm tired of them raiding my lands. 1,500. A good fish? I do like fish. A local fisherman from Napoli, Hesso, has come before me claiming to be able to cook an, an enchanted supper. Okay. That could give me some good stuff, right? I can't really see. Ooh. Nightmares of Hell? I don't really want that. Aloof from the commoners and prestige. I'll take it. Give me your holy fish, man. Oh, he's leaving? Shoot! Oh, you little... All right. That was predictable. That was predictable. So we did conquer a new bit of land, and I feel stronger for it. Let's see. I've got that new territory under my control now. King Jean, right over here. A French king of a new land. Eventually, we'll need to reorganize his territory and hopefully one day reclaim what's over here because we really, really need to get rid of him. Unfortunately, I do not have enough piety, nor do I have a hook on our dear beloved Pope. Otherwise, I would go take that. The werebear. The one-legged werebear. Never heard of him. Akatin, what about you? What do you have? Nothing much, unfortunately. Now, what about other claims? We need other claims. Claimants, rather. It's going to be interesting to try to get anyone over here. I'm going to have to wait and see what I can pick up over time. But that really does change up what I want to do. Now, we've got some civil wars going on, unfortunately. Really? Attacking King Lambert? They're going after my boy, who's winning the war, thankfully. He's a drunkard now, which is unfortunate. He's got one child. We need more children. I've got my territory. The Byzantine Empire has more power again. I can't really rival them just yet, though I do want to. Oh, no. My dear brother is attacking my son, King Lambert. Come on now, he's losing so much. You didn't need to do that. He might be dead soon. I'm going to become so stressed out, I might die at any moment. Now, Bavaria, you've angered me. You are here, and you've angered me. What am I going to do with you, huh? Oh, here we go. A countess could become a queen. Well, aren't you lucky? Thankfully, I've gotten enough prestige. I'm trying to do all of that before my son comes to power. Maybe it's a bad idea. It could be a bad idea, but I'm doing it anyway. I've got 18 knights total. Let's get everyone together. One experienced fighter over here. 22 prowls is really not that bad. How much money? Eh, I'll pay for it, sure. I've got a new perk now. Wash your hands. Restraint. Carefree. Stress gain. I do need to become carefree, I suppose. I've got options. Let's do that. Tybalt, you're no longer French. You're Italian. Well, good for you, buddy. Enjoy the food. All right. We need to go down, don't we? I've got to divide up because we've got too much going on. I haven't really looked at the map just yet. I'm choosing not to right now. The cool part is how much money we have despite having so many soldiers up. It's a good sign to me. I'll have to potentially help out later. Now, I wonder, could I get that title from the Pope now? I know he would be angry about it, sure. All right. We shall see in time. Not that title. Here we go. Got it. I can take it. 500. I'll gain 400 prestige. And now I've got it. It belongs to me now. I've got another kingdom. Oh, he's going to be so angry with me. But I just do not care. He's a non-believer. How can I believe in that Pope? All right. 
That gives me more power. And now future popes won't hate me nearly as much. He's going to hate me, sure. He's a title claimant. But future popes are not going to have that desire for other duchies that I own. So that's actually going to help me out. That was a huge issue. Well, maybe not me, but my sons, or if I outlive the current pope. Oh, an independence faction. Look at how haughty we've gotten here, King Jean. Jean. Oh, what an idiot, man. Okay, hold on. We gotta actually combine up and go fight that army. Very well, fool. Another bastard. How many of you are fornicating over there? Calm down. Quit fornicating. All right, you like me more. That's good. Let's go beat that army because we need to. We'll drop down in speed. I'm gonna do what now? Getting personal? Yeah, sure. Gold. Wait, what's over here now? He has shown a shameful lack of understanding of stewardship. Interesting. I've gained prestige, and he likes me more. Well, don't worry, I won't tell anyone. Oh, Lothair died. He died of old age at 70. That poor guy, he did lose it all. I can't believe he lost Frisia, though. That angers me so much. <gasps> Good job! Have a look at that. Unfortunately, my counselor died at 54 of cancer. He was a talented peasant who I hired. Who else do we have over here? Well, my son maimed someone, which is quite exciting. I'm allowing him to fight right now. We do need a new proper commander, that's okay. We beat the hell out of him. She couldn't do it. She really couldn't do it. All right, who am I gonna hire then? It could be me. Carlisle, I'll let you go in to fight. I would like to go after what they have over here, but I've gotta take over one bit of land first. And here we go now, we've got a war, a proper war to fight. Let's see, who can I call in right now? I can call in many, many people to come help me out. I could even hire, well, no, I can't hire mercenaries yet. Here's a queen. How much power do you have, queen? Not that much. You don't have that much power. Lewitpold, what about you? 1,000. Yeah, come join me. Actually, I could just call all of you in. Let's do that. If it's free, I'll take it. If it's free, it's for me. All right. There we go. We got that one, too. I could ransom a few people. We've got a countess over here. I'm going to wait to do that. Oh, we've got that thoughty over there. Give me 10 gold. You're worth 10 gold, I think. All right, let's go back down. I don't know what's going to happen to the political situation here, but we shall see as we continue to go along. They're coming to help me out, and I do need help. I know we've got factions and issues and enemies who want to bother me. I've gained a lot of prestige again. That's very exciting for me. I could just go over to their capital. I'm going to see what I want to do. Hold on, let's come over here. They're trying to get away right now. Don't get away. Don't do it. Oh, you fool. They made me run through. I'm just trying to chase them down right now. They're quick. They are quick. But I did get them here. And now we've got a better commander. 15 knights total. Pierre died. My counselor died. My sister died. Oh my god, everyone's dying. Pierre! Oh wait, these are prisoners. I don't care then. Goodbye, Pierre. But my sister died. 68 years old. Oh, you crazy old knight. He was a good duke too. Only daughters. An army of daughters. What a good man. Wait, your wife was in prison? Did she... Oh, she banged a family member. Oh no, which one? Lothar, was it you? No. It was you, Odo. You nasty, nasty man. All right, back over here now. We won. That's over. We captured her. It took only nine months, which is really good. Look at what I've taken now. So now I get to go back down and fight some peasants because we don't really have time. So let's go back. We got it. Look at how much land I have now conquered. Sure, we're going to have a few issues. I've got a lot of money currently. I need to transfer. Yeah, sure. Take what you need. I don't mind. That belongs to you. Wow. Wait, I could fight the poop? Did I just call him the poop? The Pope. I meant the Pope. <laughs> well, I could come after. <laughs> oh, no. Evidently, I do not respect him at all. I've got options on what I could go after. Ev Ooh, wow, look at that. I still can't beat them. I'm getting closer, but we still can't beat them. That's kind of my allies, too. That young boy has more power than I do. All right, but look at what I've done. I do need Frisia. Frisia is going to be a huge pain to take. I have got to figure out a good way to conquer over there. Hopefully the other kings go after that location, too. That would be really nice. I don't know if they're going to. I don't have a good claim over there. Brittany is owned by who? The Norse again. We can't go after them. I'm going to have to wait and see. So for now, let's get ready to go fight some blasted peasants over here.
My boy has come of age, and I need to give him a proper wife now. We've got some brilliant people over here, some geniuses, but they are a bit older. We need to find someone closer to his age. He's a young man. I don't want someone taking advantage of him. Now, who do we have? We've got a lot of people here, clearly so. I could also marry for political power, a little bit of political power. Like, there we go. She's robust and only 27. We shall take that. Be married. She looks quite young, though. All right, so I've got my army over here. A sinful bishop exposed. Philippe. Oh, shame on you, Philippe. All right. Let's get ready now. Oh. Are they going after them already? I hope so. Let's go beat these rebels up. I've only got four knights here. That's all that I really need right now. I'm going to get more later. What's over here? Someone is wounded. All right. Let's see. Let them bleed. Do not do that. Duke Ramiro shall become my friend. The leader of Sicily. I gave him power. I put many, many commoners into positions of power. Unfortunately, he did lose a child during a siege in the year 900, six years ago. He's holding on right now. And I do wonder what type of things I need my council to do at the moment. They're doing fine. They are doing fine. But we do need some new minor titles. Ramiro, you're now the master of the horse. All right, maintenance goes down by only 2%. What about over here? Ah, the Duchess. But no, we'll give it to my boy. He needs a job. He needs a good job today. Increase that vassal opinion. It's a good idea. Let's go beat more peasants again. And it is over. That was quite easy. That was quite easy. Are you any good? You're a good military commander, but that's really it. A niece was killed in a siege. Oh, no. What is happening? Rudolph. Right, that war. Wait, are you fighting a bunch of peasants right now? Is that what you're doing at the moment? Who the hell are you? That's what I want to know. I don't like this guy over here. All right. You are attacking Rudolph at the moment. And you killed a niece of mine. So here's what I'm going to do then. I'm going to have to join in and fight that war. We can't permit that at all. That isn't okay. So let's see. What are we going to do about that right now? I suppose what we can do, we can come over here and talk to my brother. I'm going to offer to join his war. Because again, I'm not going to permit those fools to do that and attack us. We're gonna have a lot of infighting no matter what. That just kind of happens just due to the nature of our uh, everything, really. What's over here? You want a child? A prisoner? Is that your son? Oh, yeah. He's related to you. 50 gold. I could hold on to him. Not right now. Maybe I'm gonna hold on to him. Then maybe you won't bother me. We'll see in time. If I let him go, renounce claims. Interesting. He would lose all his claims over here. Want a kingdom too. That would be one less person to bother me. I could even gain a hook on him. I've got options. No, renounce your claims. It'll be much easier for me if we have one less person who's got more claims out there. I've got to begin to break them down. And here we go now. We need to go help out in that war. They have 2100 men. I've got plenty of men now. Let's go fight again. I've got to go handle a few things if I can. And we have another rebellion, which is fine because we have our army all together here. So we're going to get everyone together and beat them up, hopefully quickly. I'm going to come over here and beat. Come on. Oh, one has been invalidated in the age of the world. So what now? Leave it to the clergy and avoid panic. Here's Roberto II. He's a patriarch of my entire empire. Yeah, sure. Give me experience. And Arnold. You've got your own secrets in the family. My cousin was killed too. Another family member killed. We weren't very close, but we've got some issues, don't we? We usually do. All right. We've got to go fight a bit. Let's go handle it. We've got more knights over here, which is quite nice. I'm going to bring them down. Okay. And for anyone else around me, I'm surprised we haven't had more rebellions, but I think it's because I've been a very good leader and we've been kind of blazing through so many different enemies nonstop as we've been going through the map. Let's go now. No, no, no. Come on. You're ready. You're ready right now. I could die any year. I'm not happy about that, but it's going to happen at some point. Let's come on down and attack that guy for sure. We got to go after him. Oh, no. My brother died. He died of old age at 65, which means I'm pretty close. He ended up losing a child, a very young child, only seven years old. Let's see. The Duchess, she's doing well. The power has been divided up between the two of them. Look at that. That's what happens under Salic law. We lose lands like that. Generally, women do not come into power, but here they have. All right, so we've got a little battle over here. Let's beat them quickly. 
We beat them there. That's very good. Let's go after that capital. Nope, it's over. We beat them all. Okay, well, that was quick. Quick and quite easy. It's now July 4th. Hooray. I have a feeling that might come up in the future. Far in the future. All right, so now... We've been fighting non-stop. It's been one of the more battle-heavy parts I've had. I do want some money, but it depends. What do you have? Hey, give me money. What about you, Mayor? What do you have? Any decent claims? Not really. 30 gold. Here's a Duchess of Apulia. And she's a giant lady. Married over to another fellow. All right. 100 gold. I do like 100 gold. Hold on. What type of claims do you have? Nothing really that great. Give me money. Giovanni. You're a decent commander. I'm not going to let you go, though. For you, young lady, what do you have? Let's see. A duchy? That's really it. Okay. And for the rest of you, nothing really too important. Here's another countess again. She's got a claim on a county, too. How much money are we talking? Oh, 50 gold. I'll take 50 gold. 10 gold from you. Uh, nothing for you. And one more peasant. Okay. We did it. We went through all of that. I wanted to ensure that we didn't like lose any good claims, but look at all that money we just made. A lot of money. I haven't really been building on my own territory lately. I learned of a new secret. Okay. So you've done your part. You have found many secrets. You've done very well. We've got minor titles like crazy right now. Bavaria is having a few issues. Oh, that's understandable. Oh, dear. Guntbert. Look at that war. That's a big, big war. I don't believe she's going to do very well. So I do wonder what type of claims I'm going to press soon because we haven't really gotten to any goals just yet even though I have conquered a lot of land I mean look at how much I've conquered now King Arnold again I would love to go after you but I don't think it's going to happen I wonder what would happen if I killed you could I have him killed shoot what about your heir your primary heir you're not even married yet so that could be even good for me we're gonna have to really figure out what we're gonna go after in time because I'm not too sure just yet I could conquer Rome and put my capital over there now, what was very interesting about the Holy Roman Empire, they didn't really have permanent capitals. They would have moving residences. And sometimes you would have like one emperor that would favor one over the other. So where we move is really up to us and where we want to be. And I wonder where we should be. I've got to lower my stress if possible. We'll try to do that now. I'm going to go on a hunt real quick. What else do we have going on right now? You're no longer a ruler. What happened to you, kiddo? Who took your titles from you? I have no idea. You're only 14 and you've got ridiculous hair. What about your father? Your father's doing okay. He's doing fine. He's a bit wounded, sure. I'm still going somehow. I'm 64 right now, but I'm going. I'm fighting well. I'm going on a hunt currently. Let's find out what we're going to do here. Move. I'm trained in medicine. Oh, no. King Lambert, my boy. What's going on? I'm going to help him out. And done. I can help out my boy. What's over here now? A neighboring war going on. Interesting. You are fighting your own Basilius, really. Well, good luck to you, pal. I'm back home now. I've gained more prestige. Wait, Valence, you're a cannibal? Oh, no. That is not okay. What are you doing, Valence? I have no idea. All right. Let's have a look over here. Again, I really want to go after some other enemies, but I need to have a proper target to go after. I won't be able to conquer all that I want just yet. I wish I could. I really do wish I could, but it would be challenging. It would be difficult. I've got to really think about what I can take on. Now, I could go after the papacy. That could be quite interesting. They have no allies at all. Oh, what if we did it? And so I did it. Normally, I wouldn't do that, but I feel the need to do so. He's a non-believer. We believe in God. However, he does not. I'll bring in allies if I need to. I know he's going to have a few friends. I've got prestige. I can handle things over here, I think. 75 prestige and one more to bring in. 75 once more. Okay. Bring in everyone. Four days to go. Sure. Come on. All right. Let's go attack now. Who's going to lead? It's not going to be me. Carlisle, the heathen sword. What a proper name for what you're doing right now. Look at him. He's a great commander and warrior, too. Old age, minus 15. Yet, at the age of 64, he could beat all of you in a fight right now. Even me. We could be arm wrestling right now, and he would just rip off my arm and say, Ah, too bad. Pray to God with your one arm, loser. He's pretty good. All right, we're off to go fight them. We've got to go fight them.
just a little bit just to say hello I've got a new perk over here what do I want mental resilience I'll take that because I've been breaking mentally quite a bit lately and I don't really care for that too much I'm still very much alive though which is awesome all right let's go follow them right now because we've got to we've got to go make some money we've got to go really wage war and win a few battles here we go come on Carlisle there's my boy Carl all right, let's go after another army now. We're not done. We're not done. Usually the papacy is a little bit scarier, but unfortunately for them, they do not have a lot of money. Let's come back over here and have a look at that battle again. They have only four knights total, and they're not very good. And so I have won. Duke Dan, you're still alive. 54 years old at 40 prowess. Wow. Three children, too. I hope they're very good. He's over in Benevento. Dear Benevento. And so we won again. We got him, man. We got him. Let's come back down. It's only a small location. I'm here to take over if I can. I've got to take over right now if I can. It's a goal of mine. Witchcraft. Oh, no. Odillo! We have many witches around us right now. I do not really care for that. It's a very brief battle. We won again. Okay, you're finding secrets over there. Very good. I could vassalize you. If I gave you low obligations where are you at by the way now come on come join me by the way do that i don't mind great we have more territory that i do not need to conquer helgi the werebear one day we'll get him but not today all right in dignity and death on an unofficial trip, I am passing by one of the villages of my realm. As I leave the borders of the village, I see something odd by a bush, and together with my entourage, go to investigate. To my shock, it is a corpse of a haggard-looking old man in rags. I demand an explanation from the villagers who say he was the local town beggar who just passed away. No! You will treat him with dignity. For four years, I'll gain more piety and popular opinion. Done. Treat him well. Helga's dead. Now, she served me for a long time. Her husband, one-armed Gotschalk. What a name. All right, let's have a look over here real quick. A new tax collector. Here. You're a duchess. You're pretty good. You'll like me, right? Yeah, sure. Come back over here. Give me more money. All right. Let's try to take what we can. We've got to try to. I'm old. I could die at any moment now. I've been feeling poor for quite some time. And again, I could die at any moment. Here's another Jarl coming to raid my lands again. What a shame. I won the Battle of Roma. I've got a notable guest over here who I don't really care about. All right. So, it's going to take me a while to win. While performing his duties as my spy master, Duke Brune has uncovered a secret held by the Mayor Aurelia. A non-believer. Another non-believer! Additional tax does over here. So, we gained a lot more money. Look at that. 598 now. We're doing very well. I'm just here to conquer what I can right now. I'm going to host a feast real quick. I've got some money for that. I can do that. And done. My stress has gone down, so hopefully we won't have any issues at all. A laudable effort. You know what? My wife deserves all the credit again. Let her like me. It is a good idea. A troubled vassal here. Interesting. He wants to get away. I shall help out. Sure. It gives me a hook, and a hook is power. Everyone is leaving and we're doing quite well. We're still conquering what we need to over here. A troubling translation, all right. What shall we do then? I could buy a better one. I could have a look. I'm gonna have a look, sure. Her learning shall go up by two. She's at 25. She's been my physician for many, many years now, which is quite exciting for me. The pagans are gonna die eventually. They've been raiding my lands like crazy lately. But look at that, we're nearly there now. We've got three months to go. Wow, we have been finding out a lot of secrets lately. All right, a bit more time to go. We won another battle. Leutpold, you died of gout. What a shame, how dishonorable. All right, we got them. We did it. We got him right now. It is over. 22 months total, and we caught him. Look at what I've taken over, by the way. The Pope is not doing so well, huh? I could have him killed if I wanted to. It would be difficult, but I could. But there we go. I've got new lands. Let's come over here and have a look around. What do we need? 45 gold? I'll take 45 gold for now. I doubt you'll get more. 30 gold over here, too, for a mayor. 
We've got another captain. No money. Well, then you don't get to leave, pal. What about you, lady? Nothing. All right. There's my money. But I now have Rome. Rome now belongs to me over here. Army, go home. Look at my money go up. All right, so we've got the Roman Theater of Ostia. Point two for taxes, defender advantage up by three, fort level up by one. Built under the Roman Emperor Augustus, it could host up to 4,000 spectators after later improvements. During late antiquity, it was modified to be used as a defensive fortification. Fascinating. What's over here? The Aurelian Walls too. Garrison up by 500, garrison size up by 50%, fort level up by three. More money again. We've got the Colosseum. Army gold maintenance down by 5%. Building construction time down by 10%. Alright, we'll keep on looking. St. Peter's Basilica. Two for gold per month. Fort level up by one. More development growth. And many other things too. That's been going well for me, I think. I could build new things over here, but let's have a look real quick. We beat one major faction. Now, return Roma. Really? I could give him Roma. I'm not going to do it right now, but evidently that is a choice for me. I took what I wanted. I made my choice today. You can't tell me no. I've got more men than I did before, but look at how much land I own. We're still not done because I've got other enemies to go after, such as the King of Frisia. Now, I could use some good duchy claims. Let's have a look around real quick. County claim. Let's see. Barony. County again. A Jarldom. He's close by. What do you have? A duchy title right over here. I would like to take over over there if I could. Get your claim if you can. 16 months total. We could use more of my culture. We're beginning to spread our Franconian culture where we are able to. And we have many lands to spread it too. It nearly died out, but our culture lives on now. All right, let's go. Three years to go. Make it happen now. Minor titles, we're doing fine. Oh, my old friend, you are infirm and a murderer, but you're doing fine. 64 years old. We have done so darn well. There's my beautiful amount of money. And yet, we are not done. I could restore the Colosseum once I have all of Latium. I would need 2,500 gold, 500 prestige. What would that give me? The Colosseum proper? Okay. Here's a plan I want to potentially integrate one day. I won't be able to do it now, but one day I'm going to make it work out. I've got many options over here. I couldn't find a few new knights locally. I'm going to do that real quick because I've got the money and time.